Hello everyone, I'm Hilary Chino. Thank you all so much for coming and watching. Today, I want to show you how to create, how to generate a QR code for your Kobo Toolbox or any other link. Now, there's something about QR code online, okay? Many times to generate these codes, you need to pay. You need to pay money. But Chrome has made life easy for both of us. You and I watching this video, okay? So you can actually go to Chrome and generate a QR code and then come to your Kobo Toolbox system and copy that link and paste it and keep and paste it inside that QR code and send that QR code to anybody to use to access your form that you have created into the Kobo Toolbox system. Okay, so I'll be showing you this step by step on how to generate your QR code, take your link from Kobo Toolbox, put it inside that QR code, and then send it out there and we'll practice it with my phone to see how we can extract that form from Kobo Toolbox system using the QR code. Let's jump in so I show you what I mean. Yes, so um, in order to generate a QR code, um, Chrome has made life easy for us. Remember this browser is Chrome. So um, once you open your browser here, you open this website. I'm gonna pin this website on the comment section, okay? It's en.wikipedia.org, okay? So once you open this website, you go at the top here to these three small dots here and you click. Once you click, you have this other drop down. You find where it says cast, save and share. Now when you come and you, you follow with your mouse, you come up here, you see the create code active. Now I want to show you something. If I go to this browser where I don't have that website and I do the same, go down here, go to that um, cast, save and share, you see that my create QR QR code is not active, okay? That is why you must, first of all, launch this website and then you go there and then you get this cast, save and share. Now just click your create QR code. Here you already have the code, okay? So if I and copy this link and I paste it somewhere here, you see that it is going to open this website. So what we are going to do now is to go to Kobo Toolbox here this is my Kobo Toolbox form. I don't want to take you through the long process, but just know that this is my form. Those of you who have uh, been following, I will just come here and I copy this link. You see, I have copied the link of this form. Remember that if I paste it here, Control V and I and I press Enter, it opens up the form. Okay. But now I want to create a QR code that I will use to open this form, just as I've opened here now. So what I'll do, I'll come here, copy it, and then go now to that our code that we generated. Okay, let's go to that website, sorry. This code that we generated here, cast and share, and I upgrade my code. I'll come here now, and I delete this link, and I paste my Kobo Toolbox link, you see? So now what I have here is my Kobo Toolbox link. It's have, it has HTTPS, uh, column double slash ee dot eu dot kobo to box dot org. So this is it here. So what I'll do, I can copy this and send to somebody, but what I'll do is that I'll download this. You see, the moment I download this, I'm going to open it on my machine. So this is a QR code here. Okay, so this is the code. You see? So right now, I have this code here. So give me some time. Let me open up my phone and i show you how to um, scan this code and open the form using my phone okay so um, right here this is my phone you see that's my phone and this is the QR code beside my phone so I'll just go to my phone here and I'll scroll it down and there's an option that says scan QR code right here scan QR code I'll click that option and it opens So you see, it opens and I take it closer to my, you see, so it brings up this link, you see, and then I'll op click open link. When I click open link, and then that is my Kobo Toolbox form, you see. So if I bring my phone here, and I bring down this QR code, so here you can see my, my, my form, you see, that's my Kobo Toolbox form. So if I send this form to you or any other person, that person can use this, you see, the person can use this to 
to to to to input data you see so just by using your qr form uh, uh, 